for being admitted to the hospital. If not, then I must say you are the lucky one. And if yes, then do you remember the IV fluids like glucose, dextrose being infused to your body? Generally, what happens is nurses and doctors manually check the fluid levels in the bottles from time to time, which keep them occupied. And it can even result in errors. If empty bottle is still connected to patient's body, then the reverse flow will start. That is, blood from the patient's body will start moving to the IV bottle which in turn causes pain and can even cause immediate death. So here comes our idea, Smart IV. An IoT based automatic alerting device that consists of a laser and a precise light dependent resistor that's an LDR to detect the laser which is employed to constantly monitor the fluid level. When the fluid level is below the critical level which is defined by the laser employed, it will alert the patient through the buzzer nurses and doctors through the mobile app and the central control room using the web app. Now you got to know about our little hardware. Moving on to the software, we use Firebase as a real-time database. We have created an Android app and a web app for the doctors and nurses. It allows them to add the patient's details and remove them when they are discharged. It also allows them to monitor the drift status of the patients in real time to check whether any patient requires any assistance or not. Now I'm sure you are waiting for the advantages, right? So here you go. First, lesser work for the nurses and the doctors, which I'm sure are very crucial at this very time of the ongoing pandemic. Secondly, it will highly reduce the hazards that are caused due to the reverse flow of the blood, which causes a lot of pain to the patient and can even result in the deaths. Thirdly, it's highly accurate as it uses a precise laser, which constantly monitors the fluid level and even can run like 24-7. Lastly, the price. Costing around 500 rupees is highly economical for every bed at the hospital.